The first major problem to figure out was, okay, we're entering, um, you know, these homes from the top, but, you know, we're still 30 feet from the water. They are lake houses. How are we going to actually live in these houses? So we, we used the approach of putting kind of like a double master suite on the top level with a kind of a kid's bunk room. And then we have a stair right as you enter the, the house to the left. And we've also allowed for an elevator. Yeah. We're at the entrance to the um, A house. Um, it's the front door. What you're going to see, this is the bedroom level. And what you're going to see is there's two kind of equal, you know, master and guest in terms of size and view. Uh, the only difference is the master has a connected bath. The, the guest room shares a bath. Uh, what you're looking at right now is a kind of a kid's bunk room situation where we're going to act, we're going to have um, built-in bunk beds. Um, um, so this is just like a place where the kids crash. Now on this entry wall, it's kind of interesting. We, we put a wood wall on one side and we have uh, sliding barn doors that's going to cover up these openings. And the idea was just that we're not, you know, in a hall full of doors, uh, get a little bit of a design feature. This is the master suite. Um, each bedroom has corner windows, which we think is important. It's a pretty good size. We have a recess for a desk, and also there's a bookshelf um, to the right of the desk. Uh, but the room itself, this is where you have the view. Um, you have uh, corner windows. Really feels like you, all you see is water. Uh, we just came down the stairs uh, to the main living level. And first thing you see when you walk through this opening is we had a, it's a nice tall space, it's 12 foot ceilings, the cook wall back here. Um, there'll be an island, there'll be kind of a, of a bar, uh, extra storage cabinet. Back under the stairs, we are going to have a pretty big pantry, which is important. You know, anytime you have an open um, kitchen situation, you, got, you, know, you have to have some place to hide the stuff. So that's how we handle that with the, um, with the pantry. Now, on this level, uh, we have um, bed niches that double as it's a day bed, but it's also a place that people can sleep at night. And we'll have drawers underneath it to store, um, you know, linens. And it's a good place to hang out day or night. And it also works, you know, as a furniture piece in the room. We've done these in a, we do these in lake houses all the time. Even uh, our house personally, my kids love these things. We actually put drapery up and they close them and they're in their cocoon. And, um, you know, there could be five kids behind the curtain, you'll never know. This house has a different roof pitch, so there was an opportunity to make some space up here. Uh, the, house has three, the house has three bedrooms on the main level. This would be the additional kind of flexible space. Um, it's going to have a stubbed up for a bathroom, and um, we see it as kind of like the teenage crash pad. It is a giant space. It's very flexible. I mean, it's something to where we can build in um, bed niches. You know, I could see this as the ladies, I mean, the our clients up the, up the street, they had like three beds in a space like this. That's their choice. Uh, it could be, you know, air mattresses on the ground, but the point is this is where you're going to make up your, um, your people count. A three bedroom house can sleep 25 people. And if we're designing for that, um, we can make it happen.